This is the story of a California wildfire. My husband starting over with a blank canvas from dirt, needing to build a new home. His inspiration was the natural elements of the earth, much of it mined here in Orange County. Stone, rock, wood, and water, layer upon layer from the ground up, as he would say, from ashes to beauty, all the way to our combined effort and finishing touches. We most enthusiastically and warmly welcome you into our home. Hi, so good to see you. Come on in. Let me show you around. I'd love to show you the library. It's my favorite room in the house. It's so cozy. My husband Tommy and I are celebrating our five year anniversary this May. The first thing we needed to do once we were married was to merge our two homes into one and so we decided to move my house into his. It's an intermingling of his, mine and ours and our very first hours was the need for a bookcase for our combined books, hence it was the beginning of our library. It's my favorite room because it's filled with decorative items that remind me of my mom. She taught me so much, as did her mom. The lower cupboard of the bookcase holds antique china that I'll be pulling out for Mother's Day. While she has Alzheimer's, her enjoyment of pretty things still lights up her face. She blessed me with an appreciation of a pretty table setting of patterns and color shapes. The thrill of nature and animals, trees, and a beautiful sky. It's often the women in our lives who pass along the art of hospitality from one generation to the next. If you're watching this, you can probably name a woman or two or a few who've greatly inspired you. Okay, now we've seen my favorite room. Let's go see Tommy's. By the way, this is an old family piece that means a lot to me because it, it's come through the generations and we have many pieces in our home that come from our grandparents and uh, that's something that really makes our home special. After Tommy's home burned down, he put in this wing of bedrooms and we've turned them into two full service guest rooms for our family and friends along with a casita in front of us. This is kind of a fun, it's a new old piece that we purchased at um, a wonderful little town called Orange and a, a little shop called Summerhill, our friends Denise and Terry. And um, anyway, it's a dry bar and we couldn't fit it into the den, into the casita. And so it's just a little overflow, but it adds, it adds to this space. And this, the casita here is the most secluded room in the house, and I think it's why it's Tommy's favorite. As you can see, we've stuffed Tommy's big sofas into a pretty small room, and it adds to the coziness of the space. This is where game day happens, as well as movie night with popcorn. Hunting for rugs, tapestries, furniture, and art, we've truly had the time of our lives. I'm 58. He's 63 and sharing passions and interests, any interest keeps life exciting. You've probably noticed my penchant for animal figurines and I've definitely infected Tommy. We were doing our monthly rounds in the village of Orange, stopping in to see um, Greg and Karen at their wonderful antique shop. It's about time and they had just got in this Black Forest stag, and there was no question that this was gonna end up here. They've provided a lot of our art and occasional pieces, and our home would not be the same without them. Speaking of animals and all living creatures, we've allowed our landscape to grow this past five years, and it's become a refuge for all kinds of wildlife birds, bunnies, owls, hawks, coyotes, and even a bobcat. And we still have blank walls waiting for the right pieces to present themselves. On to the next room. 
We have two guest rooms and I love them both equally, but for different reasons. This room is light and airy and fresh. We call it the French room. We named our rooms because when we were on the hunt for decorative items, we were doing a lot of unnecessary describing. So it simplified our communication. It also helps us to know where to find each other. Being able to host our adult kids and their spouses and our friends means the world to us. Making memories so often happens right at home. It's where holidays, birthdays, and regular meals happen. We've created these rooms to be a retreat that offers a little, a little getaway. Fluffy bedding, useful side tables, good lighting and fun wallpaper all add to the comfort and coziness of these spaces. Soft billowy carpets for bare feet can feel so good when it's time to relax. Furnishings that accommodate their things. Creating art that people can walk into and be a part of is probably what drives a lot of our motivation. Views of nature, having a hot shower, all add to the relaxation we hope to provide for those that we love. And the biggest benefit of all, having them near and enjoying their company. One of the things that I love most about this house is that Tommy put in so many windows. There's just windows and light coming in every single direction. This is another old family piece that um, just fills this home with history. The top of this bookcase is novels and the bottom are books, children's books that were my daughter's and they're I put them down low because um, someday, hopefully, grandbabies, grandchildren will want to come, come get a book. This is the other, our other guest room. We call it the Spanish room. It's very different. It's kind of dark and moody. Combining our furnishings was the trickiest part of merging two homes. But this room was easy because it was perfect for my bedroom set. I just plopped my bedroom right into this space. Paring down meant we both had to say goodbye to things that we both loved, but in this case, we both got to keep our bedroom furniture. For the rest of the house, picking and choosing between our things has provided so much more than we could or would have achieved individually. You might be noticing a wallpaper trend about right now. It was a little risky because wallpaper is personal, but let's just say papering six full rooms indicates our commitment to making everything truly unique and cozy. Honestly, it wasn't without some front end begging on my end, but once we did the guest rooms, Tommy was on board and helped pick out the rest of the rooms. It was my shutdown obsession. <laughs> I think I spent two months on it and we were blessed to find an artisan named Armand who came and stayed with us and masterfully wallpapered, or shall we say, dressed all of our walls. We hope our guests are the beneficiaries of his handiwork that brought out, truly brought out the best in all of the features that Tommy so painstakingly chose when he built this house. And now to the most used room in the house. It's wonderful once summer comes and the weather's warm and we have the fountain going all the time in the center of the house. 
If you've watched any of my videos, then you know that this is uh, one of my most used places. I love to cook. And I think the reason is because we have such a big space. It's like big uh, pathways between the cooktop and the island. This is where everybody comes to gather. The food, the drinks come out. Dining space, we have indoor and outdoor dining. We ended up putting Tommy's chairs outside and they, they tend to do very well out there. Fun little pieces that give kind of a thrill architecturally if you like architecture and design, then this, this is a fun desk because it can be used both ways, indoors or out. And then the family room or the living room, I guess. Our basic color scheme is metals. Everything from iron, bronze, copper, gold, pewter, and silver with accents of terracotta and grass greens. So it makes it easy to change everything depending on the season. Right now it's pink for spring, but the space is easily transformed into rustic fall colors or rich, warm, old world Christmas tones. We still have a couple of pieces of furniture to recover, but it's just one step at a time Red chair seems to be everyone's favorite napping spot. We've used blue and white china throughout the house. It creates tradition and we have so many baskets. They tend to bring whimsy and relax a space. Changing out decorative items for the season adds some fun. This piece was a godsend we found on Paragold because it does two things. One, it hides the TV, and two, we didn't want to miss the opportunity of reflecting the beautiful nature behind us. And this Belgian sideboard was my one year anniversary gift to Tommy. It divides this large space into two, and it's an anchor that gives weight to each room. Last but not least, the powder room. Wallpaper. We put in a really fun toile de jouie to make it a cozy little powder space. And for the laundry room, we did a kind of a fresh plaid. And then we put in a floral wallpaper in the master bedroom and it's kind of billowy and cloudy. And I just, I love being in here. What do you get when you put two creative people together? Well, for one, discovery, play, curiosity, and a passion for learning and creating, compromise, and far more than either of us could have asked or imagined being alone. We have so much fun playing house. Who would have guessed we would have found our best playmate this late in life? Lucky us. Still, I see things here in this room that are from family members that just bring their presence um, into our home, that just add to the warmth and the connectedness. And there's nothing like a sparkling chandelier for creating romance. How Tommy and I found each other is something that we'll share on my channel very soon. The 
The best part about the master bedroom is the view and the indoor-outdoor space. The most remarkable part of this property are these beautiful green hills. Being outdoors is just one of our favorite things to do. We have a lot of lounge areas that we've created for family and friends and for us. A sectional for napping. Outdoor dining, eating al fresco again with Tommy's beautiful tables, but they're protected under the logo, no worries. And our sitting area here. We've worked to maximize the space, the outdoor space um, in our home so that uh, we put in a lot more square footage. For instance, the, the portico at the entrance, we put a bistro table and chairs and a couple of other chairs. We've turned it into a little outdoor room because it's covered. We also um, have maximized the space in the courtyard to um, have sitting area around the fountain. We use it as, a, as an herb garden, but, uh, and we keep a, kind of a revolving plants going so that we can look upon an indoor garden, especially in, this, in the winter time and um, various other sitting areas around the house. So, but this, this area is by far the best place to take a nap. But no nap for me yet. It's been wonderful having you join me today. Tommy and I have created our home together for the purpose of sharing, sharing creativity, sharing the warmth of home. So I appreciate your time. Oh, I think it's a dinner time. It's time to get ready and have a date with my husband. So please come back again soon. If you've enjoyed today's video, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button below. We have a ton more to share, lots of recipes, gardening and home improvement projects we'll be doing and sharing in the next few months. Have an awesome day.